Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well Divi has just announced a great update and it's for background masks and patterns and we've got one here on our little top section there. And you can create some stunning effects really easy. And this is all new in version 4.15.0 and I'll show you how it all works. So let's enable our visual builder. And I'm going to add a new section, little blue button for a section. I'll make it a regular section. And let's throw something in there from our library. And let's get rid of our top section up here. Okay, well let's go into our section now, the little cog there. We'll go down to backgrounds and here you're going to see the new features. Go down to backgrounds and as you can see we've got more options up here. We've got our usual ones of color, gradient, image or video but then we've got patterns and we've also got background masks. So patterns, let's click on that one first. It'll prompt you to add a pattern. As you can see it's put the polka dots in there for us. You can choose to give them a color, obviously. Make them more or less subtle by changing the, the opacity of your color there. I'll leave that just like it is. And there's all kinds of patterns to choose from. There's some wonderful little patterns right here. So I'll just choose one from random. Let's put in some waves, perhaps. And you might think that's a bit crazy, but again, we can go in and we can make it a little more subtle. Now you can transform your pattern left to right, right or left, top to bottom, bottom to top. You can rotate it. You can actually make it do the opposite of what it's doing. I'm actually going to change that pattern, but I don't know about you. To me, that's making my eyes go a little funny. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put it back on the polka dots. There we go. Fantastic. The opposite you see the polka dots are white and if I hit that they're the color so you can flip it from one to the other and you can change the size you can say actual size cover fit stretchable to fit or you can create your own custom size by giving it a width and a height but I'm happy for mine to be on the actual size you can give it a horizontal or a vertical offset and move it around how you wish, which is great. It's on repeat as normal. You can repeat just via the X axis or the Y axis. Repeat with space between. And it puts a little bit of space in between each of our little dots here. And you can use repeat and stretch. I'm going to put mine back to just regular repeat there. Now the great thing here is pattern blend mode. Mode We haven't actually got it anything to blend it with. But if I go back up to the top here. Let's flip it back so we've got the regular polka dots. Let's put in a background image say. So let's add us an image in the background there. And at the moment that's over the top of our image. We go back to our patterns and go back down to our blend mode. We can multiply it with the image. You can get some crazy features by going for luminosity and things like that. Exclusion. Color dodge. Hue. You can get all kind of crazy things going with that. I'm going to go ahead and set mine on multiply. It sort of multiplies them with the image that's in the background there. Okay, so we've got an image and we've got our polka dots over the top of it there. Let's go ahead on to the next one, which is a background mask. And if I add a background mask, there's the default one, which is a blob, layer blob, which is great because it sort of segregates it from the rest of the image there. 
and you've got several different ones to choose from here it's quite a nice feature and again you can add a color to your mask if you want to remember if I add a purple you see everything turn purple and you can blend things I quite like that back as white let's put that back on white and again you can transform it you can flip it the other way around you can flip it top to bottom you can rotate it and again you can do the opposite so it appears white and the backgrounds in there so there's some wonderful features let's just take this off and have it how it was quite like that you can change the actual aspect ratio of it by clicking on our little buttons here so if you want to do different ones you can and again you can stretch to fill you can cover fit or create your own custom size bring it up however you wish but for me I quite like the stretch to fill that works nicely so there we have it. There's a quick overview of the brand new background mask and pattern feature they've just added to the Divi. So just to recap, go into whatever it is, content. If I save this, you can apply it to rows. You can apply it to individual modules if you want to. If we go into this individual module, and it's always going to be in the same place under content, down to background. Let's move this over there. Let's give our module a little background color. There we go. Yeah, put a little pattern behind there. Let's choose a different one this time. There we go. Let's make it purple again. Well, let's make it blue because I guess our little icon's blue. And we'll take the opacity down just a little bit. And of course, when you're happy with whatever you've done there, you can add a little background mask. Something like that. So these are wonderful new features that they've employed here. You've got a blend mode with this also and you can do your mask size if you want to. So there we have it guys, there's a nice little overview of the brand new features with background masks and patterns using the Divi theme. I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. Really great idea to enhance your site. Let's just check it on the front end. And exit the visual builder. And there we have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.